How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you guys are like me, you probably have a bunch of hardware left over from crypto projects that didn't work out as well as you thought they would. For me personally, I have a couple helium devices, uh, mostly SenseCap. I think they're all SenseCap. And I also have some Planet Watch devices such as this Aware Element that I was able to repurpose into a PiFi device. And that's why I'm excited to talk to you guys today about PiFi, which is a DIY crypto project. You heard that right. You guys get to make your own crypto miners with Raspberry Pi and you can earn their PiFi token. Now, before we do start, I just wanted to say that they are in the testnet phase, so the tokens aren't worth anything, but it did also come to my attention that the testnet tokens are going to be a one-to-one -one swap once the new token comes out uh, with the official token. So just wanted to get that out of the way. Let's get into PiFi. All right, so the link will be in the description below so you guys can check this website out on your own, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on what the PiFi network is and what you can actually use it for. So the PiFi network is a global distributed data collection platform making it easier than ever for beginners, hobbyists, and DIY veterans alike to visualize and get the most out of their environmental data sensors and monitors. PiFi network aims to be a leader in this emerging field backed by its inexpensive and widely available selection of supported hardware, sensors, and data types. This allows individuals and communities to collect, monitor, and share the environmental data that is important to them. Beyond the access and visualization of data, PiFi Network software is also in the testing phase of smart home integration via Home Assistant. PiFi Network community members will enjoy the optional feature to share their collection, collected data with our global network and data explorer in exchange for access to the database, which will be awarded in the form of a utility token. This utility token acts as a voucher for accessing an online data mapping system and database providing a valuable tools for individuals, communities, academic researchers, government agencies, environmental impact analysts, and many more. At the core of PiFi Network lies the powerful and versatile Raspberry Pi, which acts as a hub for users to connect their choice of PiFi network compatible, high quality, inexpensive, and widely available sensors. So this will be in the description below so you guys can check this out. But I just wanted to show you guys basically how they are actually making their money because they're not providing a device. They are providing a license that you can use uh, to activate your device on their network. So it costs $99 to get their license. And you can see it right here. It's the Crema. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But basically, you can um, go to, uh, where is it? Products, software license. And then you can actually add to cart. And they run coupon codes all the time you can see there's a black friday coupon code i'm not sure if it still works by the time this video is out but there's always going to be coupons running on their site so you guys can get it at a relatively cheap price and even so 99 dollars is a very low entry cost into a new crypto mining project usually you have to spend all this money on this hardware and equipment meanwhile we already most of us have these devices laying around we have raspberry pis in sense cap we have them in uh the rack and as well as the minted helium hotspots and if you're not using them for helium hotspots for whatever reason if you had to collect them from houses because they just weren't making enough money to pay for the upkeep you can now repurpose them just for 99 dollars and a little bit of your time so i think that's awesome and you can scroll down they have a video on how to assemble some of the stuff i also have a full tutorial coming up later in this video on how to assemble the device as well as connect it to their network so you can follow these tutorials if you want, or you can follow mine, it's up to you. But they have their timeline down here and you can click get started. And this is the part that I enjoy the most because it will tell you guys all of the specifications and the hardware requirements that you need. You need the PiFi software, you need the hardware uh, compatibility chart, which will show you which devices are can compatible. In this case, the Raspberry Pi 4 is going to be the device that is in the most uh, latest sense cap rack and minted miner. So we are capable. We don't have to worry about any sort of incompatible hardware. On top of that, there are some sensors that you guys can use. And you guys can see right here, if I go full screen real quick, I have an aware element right there, which I actually picked off secondhand off eBay after Planet Watch and Aware decided to part ways. So you guys can use that if you want, and they're pretty cheap right now. I think they're actually going up in value. I think they're about $110. I got mine for $80 a couple of months ago, but uh, you can actually repurpose these devices as well as a BME 680 sensor, BME 688, an AirThings Wave 2, a 280 uh, by BME, and a PMT sensor. And I'll have links for these all in the description below so you guys can get them at your own convenience if you want them. You need to have at least one sensor 
to get this working because otherwise there's really no point um because you're rewarded based on the data that you provide so the one that i have is the wear element and the bme 680 and that will be in the tutorial coming up on how to actually make these work the required hardware as far as gps module they're recommending the vk 162 gps which is around 15 to 20 dollars which i'll also have linked in the description below to amazon so you guys can check that out if that's not in stock there is also these other options the adafruit mini gps which i will also have in the link in the description below so you guys can check out all of these links and if you were to add everything up in terms of cost it costs a uh, total maybe about 150 dollars to start on this project given that you already have a helium miner with a raspberry pi in it uh i'm basing that off of the 680 sensor which is relatively cheap but if you were to do the aware element it would cost just a little bit more so now we're going to go over to the explorer and this is going to show you guys all of the devices on the network and it looks like it's not loading for me there we go so you can see they're already uh, devices there's 172 devices and they are already around the world there's some in Europe um, in many many countries here and then there's look at this there's one in Israel which is pretty cool um, in Tel Aviv and then there's also some in Australia and it looks like there's also some in, in Thailand and um, so that's like just really cool to see that they're already a worldwide project even with 172 devices online and that has a lot to do with the fact that they're a DIY project. So now I'm going to click on a random device and show you guys the kind of data that we have going on here. So with this one in particular, you can see they have an aware element shown up. But usually when you click on it, it will show data hubs um, and you can't click on this. It just gives you this pop up. So they're adding features. But the thing I like about this Explorer is it's very um, appealing to me. It, it looks similar to other Explorers like we'll see with Hive Mapper and uh, helium so you can click data per hex and you can actually see that they have two devices right here they have an aware and a bme 680 exactly like mine but this is not mine just letting you guys know that and the temperature is in 20 degrees celsius for the bme 680 and their aware says 19 degrees celsius so they're probably pretty close in terms of location with the two sensors but um it's just neat that we can go to anywhere in the world this one looks like it's in miami um and you can see that they have an aware and it says it's 23 degrees, 23.9 degrees Celsius with 48.8% humidity. This is much better than the Helium console, which had all this data and it just kind of sent it in pings and you had to use dashboards and everything to get it all together. It's, it's way nicer having it like this and uh, it's available for anybody. So I can see the temperature in Canada right now is 20.1 degrees Celsius. And then I can go over here in, in Toronto. They don't, that sensor uh, not showing up, but you can just, you can see all of this data readily available, which is much different than what Helium was trying to do. And this is the actual dashboard. So you guys can see all of the data live. So you can see this is my name, but this will not be my name for much longer because I'm going to get my license reset so I can give you guys a tutorial on how to make it all work. But you can see all of the data that it's pulling in right now. It says it's 86.5 degrees Fahrenheit in my room and that could be a little bit skewed because my bme 680 sensor is in the sense cap uh, shell um, but then it has the relative humidity the barometric pressure the air quality the dew point and the gps status as well as the amount of data packets that have been sent so you guys can see there's a whole graph here and this is all designed by the pi fi team so props to them because they have some really nice graphs and i don't have to worry about building anything on my own so this is for the bme 680 and now i can click dashboards and actually choose the aware element which is located on top of my uh, device right there you guys can see it and the temperature is 10 degrees cooler air quality 79 percent and you guys can just see all of this information that the aware element is picking up and now i can use the aware element for a different project versus just having it sit around and not earning any type of crypto so i think that's really cool now, there's a couple closing things i do want to say first off on their discord server they did announce that they're actually allowing this energy sensor to be a part of their project they are onboarding it and they're going through the process right now so they're planning on adding more sensors and i think that's really cool because you'll be able to measure uh, you know wattage and stuff from different parts of the world so in a situation like this this would actually be very useful to me because if i have my crypto mining rigs at a location far away from me i can't actually measure the wattage unless i pay for a really expensive device i can't measure it unless i'm actually there so having this device 
able to be connected to my PiFi device and then sh uh, share this data on the PiFi network, I'll be able to see my usage with that. On top of that, they do have an OG role and the OG role uh, will be available for a limited time and will recognize you as a PiFi OG. Go ahead and give a fist bump to claim your new role. So I'm gonna do that right now, even though I already have the role, but this new role will actually be used in the future and they're kind of keeping it a secret, but it will be beneficial. So if you guys do join the Discord, which will be in the description below, you guys can claim this OG role while supplies last and uh, earn something neat in the future. And last but not least, they actually are going through the beta on launching their Windows version and they're still kind of trying to figure out the hiccups with that. But it is going to be launched on Windows very soon. So you guys don't have to worry about having a Raspberry Pi available. You could use a mini computer or repurpose an old computer that you have. Uh, because I know a lot of people have old, you know, five, 10 year old computers that can easily be repurposed into a PiFi device. It's just something to keep in mind. And I plan on making a video on the Windows version when it is released. So I'll give you guys a whole tutorial on that. But that's all I got for PiFi. So if you guys did enjoy, if you guys are interested, the links for everything will be in the description below, as well as the separate videos I have set out for actually making the PiFi uh, device out of the sense cap and making my PiFi, activating my license and setting it all up on my computer. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and that will be up in the next couple of days. So you guys can check those out. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.